South Korea, the U.S. and Japan's top nuclear envoys met this evening right here in Seoul in the wake of North Korea's fourth nuclear test last week. This to find effective ways to respond to the North provocations. Let's go live to our foreign affairs uh, correspondent, Kwon Soo-wa. She is at the venue of the meeting at, uh, at a hotel in downtown Seoul. Uh, so, uh, so what do you have for us? Hello, Kanyang. Exactly a week after North Korea's fourth nuclear test last Wednesday, a series of talks with six party nuclear talks members has begun this Wednesday in Seoul. Uh, with Seoul, Washington, and uh, Tokyo being the members today. And uh, all three sides were in accord about the timeliness of the meeting. Now, Seoul's representative, Hwang jung guk the special representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs, and his U.S. and Japanese. Japanese counterparts Song Kim and Kimihiro Ishikane spoke for a little less than two hours, saying there needs to be a change in approaching Pyongyang. Uh, let's first hear what Huang had to say. The three countries, South Korea, the U.S., and Japan, have agreed to act in a different manner than in the past. They said as North Korea enacted its nuclear test, despite continued warnings from the international society, they'll respond correspondingly through diplomatic pressure. Now, the three did not yet reveal any details on the contents of the negotiations, but they did state a lot of them had to do with how to effectively impose the United Nations Security Council's new resolution. When the resolution will be adopted is not clear yet. We exchanged various ideas on when it will be adopted, and a lot of negotiations are being held in New York. As of now, the member states are mediating each of their thoughts. It may take some time, but I can't tell you for sure. Now, so I guess the question is, what is possibly the biggest point of focus uh, of the three representatives, the other six party members, and the international community in really finding a way that hurts Pyongyang? Hmm. Well, many say that the important point is how active China, North Korea's closest ally, will be in making the resolution as effective as possible. So let's hear what U.S. Representative Song Kim had to say about that. I hope the Chinese authorities agree with us that we simply cannot take the business as usual approach to this latest provocation. Uh, we'll be working very closely with them uh, to come up with a meaningful resolution. I think the Chinese will agree with us. Uh now, he also emphasized the commitment of the U.S. in cooperating with two of its closest allies, South Korea and Japan. Meanwhile, Hwang jung guk will head to Beijing Thursday for further talks with his Chinese counterpart, Wu Dawei, and next Tuesday, he's slated to meet with his Russian counterpart, Igor Morgulov, in Moscow. Back to you, Konyang.